But what we just recited is the pay homage to the Buddha in the international Bali pronunciation. So you all are Burmese, so your parents might have taught you this uh, paying respect to the Buddha in the Burmese pronunciation as Namo, Tata Bhagavato, Arahato, Tama, Tambo, Tata. So Probably you have heard of it like that before, but what we just now recited is in international Bali pronunciation. Okay, so uh, we please hold your paper and we will take the five precepts. Okay, oh, she doesn't have. Five precepts. No, you all have to take the five precepts. Five precepts are very important. It is important for everyone, not only Buddhists, but for every human being. It is very important to keep the five precepts. Okay. So, by keeping the five precepts, your bodily behavior, your verbal behavior will be pure and clean. Okay. So we need to keep. You all need to keep the five precepts in order to keep yourself pure. And um, we start to take the five precepts. So please look at the sheets that are given to you. And uh, first, you will see the heading asking for the five precepts, and you will see a handbande. Okay. So I will lead you to recite this, and please repeat after. Okay. Okay, we'll all start. Aham bande. Aham bande. Ti sarane na saha. Ti sarane na saha. Pancha silam. Pancha silam. Damam ya jami. Dama ya jami. Anugaham katawa. Anugaham katawa. Silam deta. Silam deta. Me bande. Me bande. Duti yampi. Duti yampi. Aham bande. Aham bande. Ti sarane na saha. Ti sarane na saha. Pancha silam. Pancha 
Sila, Tamam Yajami, Tamaya Shami, Anukaham Katawa, Anukaham Katawa, Silam Data, Silam Data, May Bande, May Bande, Tatiyam B, Tatiyam B, Aham Bande, Aham Bande, Tisarane Nasaha, Tisarane Nasaha, Pancha Silam, Pancha Silam, Tamam Yajami, Tamam Yasami, Anukaham Katawa, Anukaham Katawa, Silam Data, Silam Data, May Bande, May Bande. Okay, so when you take the five precepts at home, you can recite this in front of the Buddha image. And of course, if you come across a Sangha, a monk, you can also take the five precepts from the monk reciting these three uh, verses. So it means that, Venerable Sir, I ask you for the five precepts, together with the three refuges, please have compassion for me and grant me the way to undertake the precepts. Okay? So, when a monk is present, he will say, Jam aham wadami dhamwadeta. And you all have to say, Amma bande. Okay? Now we pay homage to the Buddha. We pay homage to the Triple Gem. Okay? So please uh, read the passage below the first uh, page. Okay? Okay, so please repeat after me. Namo Namo Dasa Bhagavato Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Arahato Sama Sambodasa Sama Sambodasa Namo Namo Dasa Bhagavato Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Arahato Sama Sambodasa Sama Sambodasa Namo Namo Dasa Bhagavato Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Arahato Sama Sambodasa Sama Sambodasa He will pay homage to the Buddha. So do you all know why we have to pay homage to the Buddha? Do you know? Can answer. Why? Do you know why we pay respect to the Buddha? Okay, you will see the answer in this sheet also, okay? So you can see after Namo Dasa, uh, there is the definition or the meaning what it is meant by Arahato. Okay, so let's see what it means by Arahato. What does it mean? You can read on this page, Arahato, what does it mean? The serving of special reverence. We pay respect to Buddha because he is worthy of respect, okay? So we will ask, why is he worthy of respect? You, will, you might be uh, asking it in your mind, why is he worthy of respect? Okay, we read on. Sama Sambodasa. Okay, we uh, please read the meaning of Sama Sambodasa. Knowing by himself all there is to know in correct manner. So, Sama Sambodasa, it is one of the virtues of the Buddha. There are many, many virtues of the Buddha, and among them, one of the virtues is Sama Sambodasa. Okay, and now you have read the meaning of it, Sama Sambhuta Sa, knowing by himself. So, all of you go to school. What, why do you go to school? To learn. To learn. Do you know or do you learn the education by yourself? Can you do that? No. no. You need the help of a teacher, right? That's why you all go to school, isn't it? Yes. yes. Buddha, he was very great that he knew things by himself without a teacher. 
Isn't that great? Yeah. Yes. So is anyone in the room who doesn't need a teacher? No. We all need teachers, right? Yeah. But Buddha, he become he became enlightened without a teacher. Isn't that great? Yes. yes. He knew everything by himself. So isn't that a very great virtue that the Buddha possesses? Yes. yes. That's why we pay respect to the Buddha because he he was so great. He knew things all by himself in the correct manner. Okay, so people know things, but the way they know it may be correct or might not be correct, isn't that? People know wrongly, but whatever Buddha knew was correct. He knew everything in the correct way, okay? He knew everything in the correct way. So isn't that great? Yes, okay. Okay, we turn on the page. Tassa Bhagavato do that Venerable Buddha Namo I pay homage. So now we learn that the virtue of the Buddha, there are many virtues of the Buddha. Among them, there is the virtue, Samasambhuta. Okay? He knew things, everything that should be known in the correct manner. And also, Arahato also means he has cut or he has removed all the defilements. Uh, so, okay, if you might not understand the word defilement, I will explain you. Do you have greed? Do all of you have greed? Are you sure? <laughs> you have greed? You, you can speak loudly. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Okay, probably you want an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> or probably you want an iPad. <laughs> or you want a race car. <laughs> Isn't that greed? Before you go to school, you might ask from your parents for pocket money. Is there anyone in this room who doesn't ask for pocket money from parents? Huh? <laughs> Everyone is quiet, see? They don't want to admit that, right? <laughs> okay, you ask for pocket money. So if you don't have greed, would you ask for pocket money? No. If you don't have greed, you don't want an iPhone anymore, or an iPad anymore, computer, or you don't want a race car anymore, or you don't want computer games anymore. If you don't have greed, you don't want all of it. So that means you you, you are wanting iPhone, iPad, computer game, or race car. Why is it that you want? Because you have greed, isn't it? Buddha had totally removed greed. He has no greed. Isn't that great? Yes. And also anger. Do you all have anger? Yes. Oh, I want to kill this person. What is it? <laughs> Isn't it anger? Yes. So is anger good or bad? Bad. Okay. Is greed good or bad? Bad. 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 Buddha did not have any bad things like greed or anger. Buddha had totally removed every bad mental uh, mentality such as greed or anger. Isn't that great? Yeah. Because he was totally free from all these unwholesome thoughts, unwholesomeness such as greed or anger, that's why he was worthy of respect. Isn't that so? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. All these the ones in this room are very good. They are very intelligent. They can understand very well. I'm very happy. Okay. Okay, so we give respect to the Buddha and now we go on to taking the three refuges. Okay? So we, we go on to the second page. Okay? Has everyone turned the pages, the second page? Okay. 
Okay, so I want you to repeat after me. Buddham Saranam Gachami. Buddham Saranam Gachami. Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Sangam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Bodham Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Bodham Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Sangam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Sangam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Bodham Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Bodham Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dutiyam Pi Sangham Saranam Gachami. Sangham Saranam Gachami. Okay, so we've taken the three refuges. The pronunciation we just recited is an international body and all of you, uh, your parents might have taught you in the Burmese pronunciation. So I will teach you again in the Burmese pronunciation, okay? Bodhantaranangisami Bodhantaranangisami Dhammantaranangisami Dhammantaranangisami Tangan Taranang Gisami Tangan Taranang Gisami Tutiyam Pi Bodham Taranang Gisami Tutiyam Pi Bodham Taranang Gisami Tutiyam Pi Tamang Taranang Gisami Dutiyam pi tangham saranam gishami. Dutiyam pi bodham saranam gishami. Dutiyam pi dhamman saranam gishami. Dutiyam pi dhamman saranam gishami. Tatiyam pi tangkhan taranang gishami. Tatiyam pi tangkhan taranang gishami. Okay, we've all recited the three refuges. So I will uh, tell you why we take the refuges, okay? So as a Buddhist, we take the three refuges, okay? And it is very important. So after we take the three refuges, we become the devotees of the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Okay? So as a Buddhist, as a devotee, Buddhist devotee, we take the three refuges. Okay? So after we take the three refuges, we become the devotees of the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Okay? So do you, at home, do you take the three refuges? Odhantaranagisami, do you do that? Okay, can I see your hands raised up if you take the three refuges? Okay, good. Okay, good. So, by taking the three refuges, you are Buddhist devotees. Okay? So what do you become by taking the three refuges? The Buddhist devotees. Okay? So 
we take the three refuges to become the Buddhist devotee. Okay, so has your have your parents teach you Yerana Tomba? How many of you have heard Yerana Tomba? Yerana Tomba. Please raise your hand if you have heard about Yerana Tomba. Okay, okay, please uh, put down your hand. I was saying to you, okay? In Burmese, we call Jerana Tongba. In English, we say the triple gem. What do we call? Triple gem. Triple means? Three. Okay. Gem. Gem is uh, what? Precious stone. What is it? Precious stone. Precious stone. Okay. So, what are the triple gem? Buddha. Dhamma, Sangha. Okay, Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha are the triple gem. What do we call in Burmese? Yadana, Tomba. Okay, what do we call in English? Triple gem. Okay, we call triple gem because they are very precious. They are very uh, precious. They bring us so much happiness, joy. That's why we call them the triple gem. So in the world, in the daily life, if you have jewelry, if you have uh, gems, are people happy to have jewelry or gems? Yes. In the same way, but to a very much greater extent, when we have the three gems, the triple gems in us, in our heart, it brings a lot more happiness, okay? So by having Buddha Dhamma Sangha as a refuge, by having Buddha Dhamma Sangha, the triple gem in us, bring greater amount of happiness than having jewelry or ordinary kind of gems, okay? So we have taken the three refuges and then we take the five precepts, okay? Like I told you, five precepts is very important, not only for Buddhists, but for every being, for every human being, it is important to keep the five precepts. By keeping the five precepts, our body and speech will be pure, we accumulate, we gain wholesomeness by keeping the five precepts, okay? So now uh, we go on to the second page. On the lower part of the second page, you will see the five precepts. Line number one. Okay, please repeat after me, okay? Panati Pada. Panati Pada. Veramani, Veramani, Sikha Badang, Sikha Badang, Samadhyami, Samadhyami. Okay, and we say in Burmese, Panati Pada, Panati Pada, Veramani, Veramani, Sikha Badang, Sikha Badang, Samadhyami, Samadhyami. Okay, what is the meaning of it? I abstain from killing any living being. So, by keeping the five precepts, can we kill any being? No. no. Can we kill a fly? No. Can we kill a, a mosquito? <laughs> mosquito is also a being, right? So we cannot kill a mosquito. Okay, so how many of you know why do we have to avoid from killing? What is it? Because maybe you have forgot. What it? So it might be like. Might be like. You forgot? Feel it. So you forgot why? Is it? Okay, so anyone know why we have to avoid killing? Who want to answer? Oh, yeah, come on, be like a mic. 
Samadhi Yami. Samadhi Yami. Okay. It means that I abstain from taking what is not given. So to put it in straight, I abstain from stealing. Okay. So why do we avoid ourselves from stealing? If somebody stole your clothes, would you like it? No. No. If somebody stole all your money, would you like it? No. So if somebody takes everything what you have in the bank, would you like it? No. If your credit card is stolen, would you like it? No. No. So in the same way, others will also feel bad if their belonging is stolen. So that's why we've got to avoid from stealing. Okay. There are many forms of stealing also. Like, if you sell something, right? If you sell something, uh, say, okay, one gallon of gas. You say this is one gallon, but if it is only half a gallon, what happened? You charge the customer for one gallon, but you give him half a gallon. So isn't that stealing? Yes. So we also have to avoid that kind of stealing. Okay? And also tax. Everyone has to pay tax to the government, isn't it? So if you pay, if you really, I mean, if it, if the correct amount that you have to pay to the government is 100, but you, you give him only, you give the tax only 50, then what is it? It's also a kind of stealing. So we need to avoid stealing also, okay? And uh, we go on to the third one. Kame sumicha chara Kame sumicha chara Veramani Veramani Sikha badam Sikha badam Samadhi yami Samadhi yami Kame tume sa sara Kame tume sa sara Veramani Veramani Sikha badam Sikha badam Tamadhi yami. Tamadhi yami. Okay, what is the meaning of it? I abstain from sexual misconduct. So that means that for boys, if you have sexual relation with somebody else's wife, what is it? It's kamesu mesasara. Okay. For girls, if you have sexual relation with somebody else's husband, what is it? It is. We need to avoid it. Why? Okay, say for wives, if your wife is taken by somebody else, would you like it? No. No. For girls, if your husband is taken by somebody else's, would you like it? No. No. So in the same way, others will be the same. They don't like their husbands or their wives to be taken away by others. That's why. We need to refrain from sexual misconduct, okay? So we cannot have sexual relationship with other people's husbands or wife. Can you understand it? Okay? And we go on to the fifth one. Sura Miraya. Oh, wait, oh. oh, we've not done number four yet. Okay, thank you. Pusavada, Pusavara, Viramani, Viramani, Sikabadam, Sikabadam, Samadhyami, Samadhyami, Mutawada, Mutawada, Viramani, Viramani, Sikabadam, Sikabadam, Samadhyami, Samadhyami. Okay, what does it mean? I abstain from saying what is not true. So that means I abstain from lying. Okay. So is there anyone in the room who lies? We all lie. <laughs> 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 okay. 
white line or <laughs> white line, red line. Okay, please uh, put down your hand. So we have to avoid lying. Okay, we have to avoid lying. So if your teacher asks, "Have you done your homework?" and you haven't done it, and you say, "Okay, I've done my homework," what is it? Lie. It's a lie. So we, we need to avoid lying, okay? And uh, especially if your lie is going to hurt other people, it's very bad. So you need to avoid that kind of lie that hurt other people. You know, that you also need to avoid the kind of lie that ruins other people's life or other people's property, okay? So we need to avoid lying. If you are lied, if somebody lies to you, how would you feel? You don't lie. You don't like it. In the same way, other people, they don't like to be lied. So you, all, you have to avoid lying. And lying is good or not? Bad. Bad. So is it something we need to do or avoid? Yeah. Avoid, okay? Okay, so we go on to the fifth one. Sura Miraya, Sura Miraya, Maja Pama Tatana, Maja Pama Ratana, Vera Mani, Vera Mari, Sika Badam, Sika Badam, Samadhi Yami, Samadhi Yami, Sura Miraya, Sura Miraya, Misa Pama Tatana, Misa Pama Ratana, Vera Mani, Vera Mani, Sika Badam. Samadhiyami. Samadhiyami. What does that mean? I abstain from taking in drinks and drugs that are intoxicating and cause forgetfulness. Okay, so can you tell me what are the drinks and drugs that are intoxicating? Okay. Okay. What is it? Be here, yes, correct. Another one? Okay. Yes, correct. And then? Marijuana. Marijuana, yes, correct. Okay. Yes, correct. Liquor. Yes, correct. Oh, liquor. Yes. Take a rest if it is not intoxicating. It's not taking as uh, Sura Miriam, but still, it is harmful for your health, so you better avoid it, right? Pardon? Drink what? What? What did he say? He accidentally drank beer. What? He accidentally drank beer. He drank accidentally drank beer. Two hours. So you did bad things. It shouldn't be intentional, right? No intention. Oh, so no. don't put it where the water bottles are kept and don't, <laughs> don't put it in your water bottle and just say it's water, right? Don't, okay, so don't deliberately drink beer. Don't intentionally drink beer, okay? What other things? Crack, hot, okay, so like things like alcohol, liquor, beer, crack pot, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, yes, they <laughs> all these have to be avoided, okay? And also, uh, some people they take like uh, codeine, you know, the, the kind of medicine that has codeine in it. Well, if you have medical problem, if your doctors prescribe the medicine, you can take it. But some people, they're overdosing themselves uh, intentionally because they like to be high. So that kind of thing is no good, yeah? So you need to avoid yourself from taking these intoxicating, uh, intoxicating drinks or drugs, okay? 
But some of them, they argue that, okay, I drink alcohol, then I get drunk. What's wrong with it? No. <laughs> I can take what I want. But actually, when somebody is drunk, what can happen? If somebody is drunk, he does not, he is not reluctant to kill or to steal or to lie or to have sexual misconduct. So isn't alcohol a factor that incites you to do other wrong things? Yes, that's why we need to avoid it. Yes, yes. What what do you have? Um, yes, if they are drunk, they cannot control their mind, and the worst is they cannot control their body, their hand or their feet. So they end up hurting other people. If they uh, if they drive under the influence, then it might even. Uh, end up in an accident, hurting others, killing others. That's why we all uh, need to refrain from taking alcohol and other intoxicating things. Okay? So do you agree? Do you agree yes. that? Yes. Okay. So now we've taken the five precepts. So how many of you can promise that you will keep all these five precepts? Okay, good, good, good. I want to see everyone with their hands up, of course. <laughs> okay, okay, so we should put down. So, taking, uh, keeping the five precepts is not only for you, but also for others, okay? Keeping the five precepts, you yourself become pure and clean, wholesome, and by keeping the five precepts, you are not hurting any other people. Okay? So when you keep the five precepts, how will your family be? Will they be happy or sad? Happy. Because by keeping the five precepts, your parents will also be very happy. Isn't that so? So isn't that also a way of helping your parents? Yes? Even though we cannot... If you cannot repay your parents by money, it's okay, but by keeping the five precepts, making your parents happy, isn't it a better way? Okay, so keep the five precepts for you and also as a way of helping others so that you are not hurting or harming others. Isn't that good? Okay, so do you all promise to keep the five precepts? Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm very happy to hear that. Okay, then we go on to um, say, Ida me silam, Ida me silam, Maka pala, Maka pala, Nyana sa, Nyana sa, Bacheyo, Bacheyo, Hotu. Ida me tila, Ida me tila, Mega pala, Mega pala, Yana ta, Yana ta, Peseyo, Peseyo, Hotu, Hotu. Okay, so we say that may this precept be a condition for the attainment of Mega pala. So Mega pala Yana is the knowledge that you attain by meditating and by attaining Mega pala we attain Nibbana. Nibbana is our highest goal. As a Buddhist, we keep Nibbana as our highest goal. But just by keeping the five precepts, we cannot get to Nibbana. But what we have to do is, we also need to practice meditation in order to attain Nibbana. And when we practice meditation to attain Nibbana, Sila, Sila is the foundation. Okay? What is Dila? Dila is the foundation. So keeping the, if you are going to build a building without the foundation, will the building last long? No. It's going to collapse. Okay? So in order to practice meditation, we also need the foundation of the precepts. Okay? As a lay person, you need to 
keep the five precepts as the foundation. Having the five precepts as the foundation, and as you go on to meditate, you can get attainment, uh, the knowledge, and finally, you can attain Nibbana, the final goal, by attaining Magha Palanana. Okay? Okay, so we... If a monk is present, after taking the five precepts, he will say, Abhamadena Sambhadeta. And how do you respond? Amma Nande. Okay. So is everyone clear about the five precepts? Okay. We are clear about the five precepts. Okay. And um, on the third page, lower half of the third page, and on the fourth page, they are the um, bad results that can happen when you kill or when you steal. So these are the bad results that one can get by breaking the precepts. Okay, so you can read on your own when you get home also. Okay, so when you get home, what do you do with these papers? Just put on a shelf like that? No. Do you revise them? When you take precepts, you you read this to take the five precepts, you go through it, and then also you can read the bad results that can happen by breaking the precepts, okay? So this is your handbook. It's kind of like a handbook for you, okay? So this is very precious, so please do not just throw it away or just put on the shelf without uh, reading it, okay? Okay, this is a very good present that you get today. It is very valuable. It's very precious, okay? And, uh, okay, so we have done the five precepts. So we have done the foundation, okay? We have done the foundation. And uh, the, uh, for the next hour, we do some meditation, okay? So, I will first explain why we have to meditate. Do you have any idea why we have to meditate? Yes? To keep your mind cool down. To keep the mind cool, yes. And, uh, okay, what is another answer? To? To attain Nibbana, yes. Attaining Nibbana is the goal that we keep. So we meditate, aiming to attain Nibbana. Okay, so there are also other results that you can gain immediately. To purify the mind. Okay? So by meditating, we get the immediate result of purifying the mind. But when we are meditating, our mind is pure, clean, wholesome, so we get kusala, yeah? And by meditating more and more, you can gain knowledge, and finally we can attain Nibbana, okay? So, do any of you have tried meditation before? Oh, that's a good number, good. Okay, please keep your hand down. Okay, so there are many methods of meditating. And uh, by meditating, we purify the mind. So, for, okay, I will tell you how to meditate. When you meditate, you sit cross-legged, okay? Okay, before we before we meditate, uh, we pay respect to the Buddha. We pay respect to the Buddha because Buddha is the one who showed us the way. So we pay respect, and I I will uh, tell you the proper way to pay respect. Okay, so let me see how you bow down. I would like to see how you do it.
Okay. I will. Okay, okay. I will uh, show you how to pay respect to the Buddha. When we pay respect to the Buddha, there are five things that we need to.